In this video, we will take this 3ds Max scene and bring it to Unreal using Datasmith. Datasmith is available for all of this software, but in this video, we'll mainly focus on 3ds Max. First, we will install the plugin. Second, we will export the scene manually and then update it. Third, we will establish a direct link connection so we can update the changes made in 3ds Max with a click of a button. At the end of the video, I will share with you two tricks about Datasmith that saved me a ton of time. So make sure to stick around till the end. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, this scene will be available for free in the description. Welcome to the Real Arc Wizard. On this channel, we are trying to blur the line between CGI and reality. And being efficient can free up a lot of our time so we can focus on realism. Let's see if Datasmith can help with that. Let's click on Datasmith link in here. This is basically the first page you see. Here we need to go down and click on get the plugins. Here you can see all the plugins that are available for all of the software from the list. So the latest Datasmith version actually only works with Unreal 5.5, but I'm using Unreal 5.3. To find my version, I need to go to archived versions. In here, I can scroll down and choose my Unreal Engine version. So I'm choosing 5.3. You can see that it actually supports only 3ds Max up to 2024. That means that unfortunately Unfortunately, if you're using Max 2025, technically you can't use it for Unreal Engine 5.3 and you will need to up upgrade to 5.4. In my case, I just have multiple Max versions installed, so if I really have to, I just downgrade to an earlier Max version. Let's click on download and run the application. Here you just need to follow the steps as per usual. I have it already installed, so I'll just click on finish. Now let's see how we can export our scene. I am inside of my 3ds Max file. And if you remember the old versions, the way you would export it in the past, you would go to export and here in the list, you would find Datasmith format. But as you can see, it's no longer in the list. They moved it to the ribbon panel. If you don't see ribbon panel in your UI, just click on the top bar anywhere where it's empty and find ribbon in the list. Sometimes it adds it like in a, in a weird way uh, like this. So you actually don't, don't see much. I, I like to expand it a little bit. And here, if you look at the very bottom, you can see Datasmith. To export the whole scene, you just need to click on export, pick a location and name it any way you want. All right, now let's see how we can import our scene into Unreal. The first thing we got to do is go to plugins and make sure that Datasmith is enabled. If you're importing from some other software, just enable all of those plugins. Once you have done that, restart the engine. Before importing, just pay attention to the level that is set as current. This will be the level that um, the files will come to. To add any Datasmith file, click here, hover over Datasmith and click on File Import. Navigate to the location where you have exported your Max file into, choose a Datasmith file and click Open. Let's create a new folder, call it something we will remember and click OK. After this, we will see this window pop up. I always import geometry and materials. Lights are not very useful because chances are you will have to redo your lighting manually anyway. So the only time I use it is when I have a lot of spotlights and I just need the location. Cameras, if you have your camera set up in 3ds Max, it can be useful to bring them over, but you will still need to redo all of the settings. If I want to use the exact camera used in 3ds Max, I would import it and then create a new sign camera, place it in the same spot and crop it and use the same field of view that I had in Max. Animations I never really use. If I have to bring some animations over, I do each one separately. Under the advanced tab, you will see some static mesh options. If you know that you're going to bake your scene, then you can enable it. If you know you're going to use Lumen, and dynamic lighting only, just disable it. Now let's click import. So as you can see, our scene came into Unreal pretty well. Looks not that bad. But the reason is that I prepared the scene actually to have very simple materials. For example, this wood is really just a V-Ray Intel with a texture. If you do have more complicated materials like this, for example, or something like that, Spoiler alert, they will most probably come to Unreal broken. If you're working on your scene from scratch, create your materials to be very simple, then they will work the best with Unreal. If you're working with a finished V-Ray scene and you are in a hurry, you can just bring everything over with Datasmith and then redo only those materials that look off. If I'm working on a bigger project and I know that I have to prepare it to look the best way possible, I would always recreate basically all the materials in Unreal, either by using mega scans or my custom materials as a foundation, as master materials. And then in the instance materials, I would replace the textures. If you have a look at the outliner, you can see that the Datasmith always comes with an parent actor. 
and then all of the other actors are below it. If you had any groups in the scene, for example, I had a group for Deco, it will also come to Unreal together under the same actor. Fortunately, it's not a group, it's an actor, so it's a little bit annoying, but if you really need it as a group, just select everything under the Deco actor. Control G, you have created a group, and now when you click on it, you can use it as a group in Unreal. All right, now what happens if I made any changes in my 3ds max scene and i want to bring it over so i have created this cube in here and let's say i want to make this lamp bigger something like that doesn't matter once i have done my changes in 3ds max i have to go to export find my datasmith file again click on save and overwrite it now once you're in unreal go to the folder where your datasmith file was saved to right click on it and click re-import here you can see the same a window pop-up as we've seen before with two extra settings. The first setting is asking us whether or not we want to update current scene actors. If you remember I have changed the scale of this lamp and I want it to carry over so I will enable it. The second setting will respawn any actors that you have deleted. If you have deleted some actors that you don't want to respawn, leave it unchecked. Now let's click on import. As you can see, it brought this box that we had in 3ds Max and it also scaled up the lamp. Okay, cool. Now let's see how we can establish direct link connection. Direct link will let us update our scene with a click of a button. So the first thing you got to do to enable it, you go to 3ds Max, you find Datasmith tab under the ribbon panel and you click on synchronize. What happened just now, it created Datasmith file in a temporary location, which then Unreal will be able to pick up automatically. Let's go back to Unreal. Let's uh, enable direct link. We can find it under the same tab here under Datasmith, but this time instead of file import, we'll go to direct link import. If everything goes well, you will see your 3ds Max files currently open. I have two open and I see both of them in here. So now under the source, I look for my uh, 3ds Max file name and select it. Now I need to find a location for it. So let's create a new folder and click OK. You will see the same menu pop up with the settings. You already know what to do. Let's just import. And basically in the same process, the same scene came over to Unreal. But the cool thing about it is if we make any changes in here. So for example, I will move this cube in here. Let's create a sphere here, pyramid on the table like this. Let's make this very big. All I have to do to carry over the changes made in the scene is to click on synchronize once and the file automatically was updated in Unreal. So let's have them side by side to see exactly what's going on. I will add a text in here and click on synchronize. Voila, it came straight into Unreal. You can imagine you can have 3ds Max on your left monitor, Unreal on the right, right monitor and really work in parallel like that. My experience, however, if you have a heavier scene, the synchronization times can really start getting painful. Bonus tip number one I can give you is to use layers. It's especially helpful if you have a bigger scene and you can't really use direct link because it just takes too long every time you click synchronize. You can split up your scene in layers like this and then select everything inside of the layer. Click on export selected, name your file accordingly and export it separately. Do the same with every other layer. So now that I exported my layers, I will import each one of those files. I'll select all of my new files, click open, create a new folder and click OK. The same as with everything else and click import. So what I get in the end, I get the same scene in Unreal but and if you don't see layers just go to window and enable it from here so you can see the layers really help to organize your scene by splitting it up for example deco is in deco layer furniture in the furniture layer and the model itself in the model layer and now for example when you make changes only to furniture you only need to export the furniture and not the whole scene and tip number two that saved me a bunch of time is to stick to the following rule. If you need to change something about the geometry, do it in 3ds Max. If you need to change materials, do it in Unreal. This way you will not be confused where you changed what. And when you re-import, just uncheck everything but the geometry. This way there is no way for you to do a mistake. And that saved me a bunch of time. Once you have your scene set up, chances are you will want to use mega scans to really enhance the look of your scene. If so, check out this video of mine where I show you how to drag and drop mega scans or any other assets from Fab directly in your scene. Hope to see you there. Ciao!